Hello and welcome to Evenings with Anne. Thank you for joining me. You know, over the past 50 episodes, it's been my aim to encourage you in these uncertain times. When I first started, I was so nervous. I had no idea how it was all going to go and um, I'd never done anything quite like it before. It's one thing to record my reflections in a personal journal. It's quite another to put them online where anyone can watch and listen to them. To be honest, the thought of doing so made me feel vulnerable and exposed because when I reveal God's word as it comes to me, um, it is those things I share are so precious, so very precious. And sharing what I think leaves me open to criticism and potentially ridicule. And that made me fearful. Sometimes it still does when I think about it too much. But I also believe that God, in his gentle, loving way, prepared me for this moment. During last year, I came across many passages in the Bible that encouraged me to let go of my fears and simply trust God with whatever he asks of me. To listen to his voice speaking through his word and by his spirit into my inner being. Passages that reminded me that God is constant, his love is faithful, and his strength is always there to help me. I want to share just a few of the passages that I came across in the hope that these can encourage you too. They're from the Psalms and they're written in the Passion Translation. From Psalm 25, Lord, direct me through my journey so I can experience your plans through my life. Reveal the life paths that are pleasing to you. Escort me along the way. Take me by the hand and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. I have wrapped my heart in yours. This next section is just so beautiful. Your perfection and faithfulness are my bodyguards. For you are my hope and I trust in you as my only perfection. Then in Psalm 40, I waited and waited and waited some more, patiently, knowing God would come through for me. Now he's lifted me up into a firm, secure place and steadied me while I walk along his ascending path. But when you open my ears and speak deeply into me, I become your willing servant your prisoner of love for life. I delight to fulfill your will, O God, for your living words are written upon the pages of my heart. Keep me in your truth and let your compassion overflow to me no matter what I face. Evil surrounds me. Problems greater than I can solve come one after another. Without you, I know I can't make it. And from Psalm 62, I stand silently to listen for the one I love, waiting as long as it takes for the Lord to rescue me. He alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me. I think that's just wonderful. For he is my champion defender. So why would I let worry paralyze me, even when troubles multiply around me? God said to me once and for all, all the strength and power you need flows from me. All the love you need is found in me. It's just great. Well, as it's turned out, I have thoroughly enjoyed preparing Evenings with Anne each episode and sharing these with you. 
And I hope and pray that God has spoken into your lives as I've shared these with you. For now, I'm taking a short break and I will be back with season two in September. In the meantime, I'm putting a summary of all 50 episodes up online, probably on Monday, maybe Tuesday, so that it can be a memory prompt if there's any particular episode that you found meaningful for you, but you can't remember exactly which one it is. Hopefully it will help you to go to the one you want to re-watch or listen to again, should that be what you want to do. And can I also remind you to hold on to the three-ply um, thread of love as you go about your everyday ordinary lives. Remember that one, God loves you deeply and dearly. Two, Love the Lord your God with all your passion, with all the energy of your being and with every thought that is within you. And three, love others as you love yourself. Now I want to leave you with some words from the Apostle Paul as he wrote them to the Ephesians. In union with Christ and through our faith in him, we have the boldness to go into God's presence with all confidence. For this reason, I fall on my knees before the Father, who, from whom every family in heaven and on earth receives its true name. I ask God from the wealth of his glory to give you power through his spirit to make you strong in your inner being. I pray that Christ will make his home in your hearts through faith. I pray that you may have your roots and foundation in love so that you, together with all God's people, may have the power to understand how broad and long and high and deep is Christ's love. Yes, may you come to know his love although it cannot be fully known, and so be completely filled with the very nature of God. To him who by means of his power working in us is able to do so much more than we can ever ask for or even think of. To God be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for all time, forever and ever. Amen. I'll see you in September. Bye for now.